All right, this is part three. 39 minutes left on my phone. Oh my God, Ivan, your series is so interesting. Yeah, you better enjoy this stupid listening as soon as well as you can. As once I find out how wicked you are, I am peacing down. I'm never making any videos for you on this channel ever again. As I said in my last video, you can't have your full cake. If you want me to make videos for you, put my. It's not hard, man. If you look, man, I'm, look, man, I'm giving you, I'm giving you guys a tip, okay? If you want to be saved, obviously, just put my stats off. It's not fucking hard. We won't do that because we sell cake. If you want to be a crazy person and, and be selfish, okay? We see how we don't, we we don't want to put his stats on. Then I'm not making any videos. You can't have your full cake. If you want to be saved, put my stats on. And I'll gladly make videos for you. It's not that hard. After what you did to me, the only way I'll ever make videos for you is if I get paid. I want to get paid my millions of dollars for my videos. And me and Vijay will, yeah, I mean, if the world puts their stats on, I'll gladly, yeah, if you put my stats on, I'll gladly make videos for you. But you're not going to do that, hence I'm not making any videos for you. You can't have your full cake. As I'm not going to let you win the game. You can't have your full cake, man. You want to be selfish, we can be, me and Vijay will be selfish together too. Yeah, you're buying our product, obviously, but you, but you, but you, 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 you caused a mess in my life. You made me pay a price. You made me suffer death. You don't talk about me in the public eye, and you don't. And, you, and you're not. You choose not to put my stats on. Hence, I'm not making any videos for you. You can't have your full cake. I'm not gonna have you act like you don't watch my videos and watch my videos behind the scenes, and have me take my time to make free videos for you. You guys, nothing coming. I'm not taking my time to make free videos for you. You're going to be left behind. And you're not gonna be saved. And you're gonna pay this for a price. And because because you guys are obviously you see hell and you're crazy people. Obviously, you, I know you guys are not going to put my stats on. That's why I'm me and Vijay are not taking the time to make videos for our Sidewalks channel. Obviously. Because I'm not going to take poor, I'm not going to take the time to make two-hour videos and not get paid for it. And you guys don't even acknowledge that you watch my videos. No, man. You want me to make videos for you? I want you to acknowledge that you watch my videos. We won't do that because you say, okay, well, then you're, you're left behind. You're not safe. You reap what you sow. You get what you deserve, man. I'm not going to have you do no way in hell am I going to let you guys win the game and have you dupe me and my wife and have me make videos for you. Get your full kick out of that and be saved. No, man. You chose my rip off bullshit sex and being left behind over being saved and never know what's happening to me and what you get what you fucking deserve, obviously. You will not be saved. Yeah, man. All right, let's talk more about Peter Jackson. So Peter Jackson, once he signs that fat, I don't know, $183 million contract... Because I'll pay him like an $8 million bonus after filming is completed. Because, because, considering he, okay, he worked hard, Peter. Here's an $8 million bonus. Here's, a, here's an $8 million check after filming is completed. Peter Jackson will make his like $105 million. $105 million for, 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 for the term of the movie. He'll make his, 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 his $90 million for the term of the movie. And he'll make his, like, his, his what? He'll make his $100, like, I don't know, $5 million. One hundred eight million, whatever it is, for for the term of the movie. He's walking away with a fat check in the bank, man. That's why he'll work really hard for me, obviously. Okay, Peter, I pay you a lot of money. You're making I don't know ninety million dollars for the movie, and you gave eight million our bonus afterwards. You're making like one hundred five million dollars, one hundred eight million dollars. I'm I'm asking you to please work hard, and I with the magic that you did for Lord of the Rings, I want you working double harder for my movie. Obviously, that's why I'm gonna plan out my story with VJ during the eight months when we go on our vacation. That we're prepped. We're gonna do board meetings with Peter Jackson, assistant director. Discuss what changes we should make in the in story. You know what I'm saying because because okay, Peter, okay, Peter, going on the tour. You guys read my book. Yeah, we read your book, Ivan. Let's discuss what changes we should make in the movie. We're also we're, we're, what changes we should make in the movie. Do a board meeting for a good like. Do board meetings for a good like. We can do board meetings a good like once a week if you want. Every week we do board meetings with the two scriptwriters and the assistant director and director. We discuss what changes we should make in the story. Later, when we write the scripts, we can make those changes. We write the scripts, when we call it the script, we make those changes, obviously. Right. So Peter Jackson, all he has to do is help me read you with the main, the main like eight stuff. Consult with the seven. I don't pay you ten million assignments for nothing. Consult with the seven team. You don't have to do the dirty work, Peter. The seven team will do all the dirty work. But it doesn't hurt. You can sit next to them when they make the business calls and consult with them. Sometimes Just consult with them. Sometimes not all the time. Just consult with them. So some help them out. And I also want George Lucas helping them out too. I don't pay you $30,000 for nothing. As George Lucas will barely be working. He'll just be consulting. Hey, George, I want you consulting, help, giving me tips on how to run the company, all that stuff. Considering you had your own company in a pair from, from, from Hollywood, I need your help. Yeah, you know, I have not help, you know what I'm saying? And you pay him and that's like $30,000 a year for it. Because he'll, be he'll barely be working. He'll just be consulting, you know what I'm saying? Slack work. Because George Lucas is getting a nice check for consulting, obviously. And he gets his perks too, his buffet, all that stuff. Right? 
Peter Jackson will help consult with the seven team, help me with co-writing the script, the console arts with the assistant director, taking his directing notes, obviously, and he'll be helping me with all the main the main stuff. Okay, Peter, I need you helping me with all the really important stuff for the movie. The main stuff for the movie, I want you to help me with that stuff. With all the other side stuff the seven team takes care of. The sets are very important. The sets are also very important, but I, I, me and Peter Jackson don't have to make the calls for the sets. Have John Favreau and Dave Filoni make the call for that. Because John Favreau and Dave Filoni, they executive produce Mad Lone, so they obviously know all the top companies for set building. Yeah, I mean, we know all the top companies, yeah. Call the top notch companies and buy all the, 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 the what? The stuff for the sets. For the set building. Obviously. For the sets. I'll have John Favreau and Dave Filoni make the calls for the, for the sets because they're, they're my executive producers, obviously. I want you guys making the calls for the sets. For the sets, obviously. Make the call for that, obviously, right? Yeah. Obviously. So Peter Jackson, all he'll be doing the first year was help me with the main like eight stuff. Obviously. Consulting with a seven team. Um co-writing the script with me, obviously, and doing the concert arts with me. And taking his directing notes. I want you taking your directing notes every day. Whatever we wrote down for that day, take your directing notes with your assistant director in your hotel room. For a good two, spend, dedicate a good hour and a half to two hours. And after that, you have the rest of the day off. You can go downstairs to the bar, have a nice beer with your assistant director. You know what I'm saying? You can have a nice beer with the console artists, the photographers and all them. You're free for the rest of the day. You can have, go to the gym, take a nice swim. You can go see a movie if you want. The high chance Peter Jackson will probably go see a few movies in Vancouver. Because they get weekends off. Don't forget that, right? Okay, I'm, I'll give you your weekends off. That way you're not stressed out. So during the during the weekend you're free you don't have to watch but it doesn't hurt but there's a high chance sometimes during the weekend we might we might what we might we might we might be working in our in 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 our free time obviously discussing the script all that stuff see what I'm saying here? But Peter Jackson all of them in the seventeen they get their weekends off so John Farrell and Nathan they all get their weekends off they can spend spend time with your family you get your nice weekends off only the first two years. The seven team get their weekends off. Whereas the third year, they, 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 they'll they be working seven days a week, man. Because you have to prep everything in Swiss. And the fourth year, they'll be working seven days a week. Because when we film during during, during what? Uh, during the fourth year of production, the actors are going to be working seven days a week, man. You can't can't afford to take any days off and slack off. No. You have to time is money. You have to film seven days a week, man. Every day for like four, 12, 14 hours a day, man. That way you get a lot of footage. You film a lot of footage. You get a, a lot of footage. Because every day it will cost me, VG, like $100,000 in production costs. And you need to, what? You need, time is money, hence you need to film every day. And I'm not a fan of any reshoots. I'm going to talk to you, Jackson. Look, man, you, we, you, I gave you three years to prep with your assistant director and then your second year director, first year director. And two shorts of us. Hence why I'm going to get an amazing movie, obviously. Me and you, me, I don't, I don't want to come back to Switzerland and do any research. I don't feel like taking out another $70, $100 million and putting, doing all the coming back to Switzerland and doing all the research. No. Like you did for Lord of the Rings. After the nine months, I am done. And you got your nice fat check, Peter. Obviously, the actors got their nice fat check. The crewman got a nice fat check. The script of the, my seven team got a nice fat check. Everyone got a nice check. Every, everyone will be flown home and I'm not coming back to Switzerland to do any reshoots. Peter Johnson, okay, I, I, I understand. Yeah, no, Peter, I'm not kidding around. Hence why I want you prepping during the three years. Because I don't want to I don't want to put another 100. Because if I if me and VJ were to do reshoots, we'd probably have to put another like $100 million just to do reshoots, man. And I don't feel like taking out another $100 million and coming back to listen and do like three months of reshoots. No. After the nine months filming ends, everyone's tired. They got a nice check. This crewman got a nice check. The actors got a nice check. You got your nice check. You know what I'm saying? The seven team got a nice check. Everyone will be flown home. And everyone's tired. Everyone will be flown home. See what I'm saying here? Yeah, but I told you, even though Peter... The only dirty work Peter, Peter will be doing, pretty much, is write, writing the script with me. Because writing the script is a lot... Is, is dirty work. It's a lot of work, obviously. I farted. That's gross, huh? <laughs> Sorry you have to hear that's gross. I mean, that's disgusting. I know it's gross. You know what I'm saying? The only dirty work Peter Jackson will be really doing will be will be writing this co-writing the script with me. As co-writing the script, even though co-writing the script is pretty slack, but we're only going to work on the script for like three hours a day. 
obviously. I told you there'll be some days that we, when we might even be working on a script for like for, for hours till over, till over hours, till like ten o'clock at night. High chance we're going to do that sometimes. The only dirty work Peter Jackson will be doing is pretty much co-writing the uh, the script with me. As you're looking at like a 500 systems of page script, it's going to take us like seven, ten months to write the script. But 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 even but, but even though it's dirty work, we're still gonna, we're still having a blast. As writing a script is pretty fun. Writing a story like Zanius is fun, and the doc team is filming it since we're having a blast. Obviously, you see what I'm saying? We're having a blast, right? We're having a fucking blast. Yeah. Obviously, whereas the concept arts are slack. As we're, just, we're all we're gonna do is just tell them our ideas, and John Howe and all of them draw. They they hang up the pictures on the board. We tell them what pictures we like, and we talk. We discuss. The, we discuss. We discuss what the movie for a good like four hours. So we all Peter Jackson would do would be saying now the assistant director and me and all them discussing the the, the the movie for like four hours every, every day doing the concert. The concert artist is slack. You just tell them right there, okay, we like these pictures, you know what I'm saying? We talk for a good like three, four hours. Just pretty, and the docking film was having a blast. You know, I even even though working on your script was dirty work, man, I had a fun time working on your script every day. Only work on your script like three hours a day. You know what I'm saying? The doc team is filming us. Yeah, and, you, 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 and, you, and, and, and because I poured so much money into my doc, almost $10, $10 million, obviously, and I rented like $50,000 independent movie cameras. The cameras used to, the, cam, the camera used to film Naomi and he has no kiss list. All you guys who saw that movie, I'm going to be renting a camera like that for my documentary, man. And she's looking at like a, with special effects too. As I'm going to put a good, like, I don't know, $3 million towards special effects for my documentary. And she's looking at a movie, man. Like, a, oh my god, your your documentary is on her. We got the documentary is filming in Peter Jackson's hotel, taking his director, the assistant director. Yeah, and I'm going to tell Peter Jackson, look, man, I don't want you winging it for my movie. Every day, whatever we wrote down for that day, when you go to your hotel room, dedicate a good hour, hour and a half to two hours, and take directing notes. You don't have to take detailed notes. Just take some notes. That way, you have an idea of what you want, what you want to accomplish for your for your scenes. Take your notes with your assistant director, and you have the rest of the day off, and you're free, and you get your weekends off. And during the weekends, Peter Jackson still gets his buffet, every uh, his limo driver every day during the weekend. He gets his feeding to pay for, obviously. But he, he he doesn't have to work during the weekends. He gets his weekends off. I told him there's a high chance I will be working sometimes during the weekends with VJ and the assistant director and Peter on the script. You know what I'm saying? We might we were like, okay, Peter, I want to discuss this. Yeah, okay, let's let's. We sit on the concert room, we discuss stuff. Sometimes I'll do that, obviously, but they get their weekends off. That way he's not stressed out, obviously. I get I pay you ten million dollars, which is a lot of money. You got your nice, I don't know, five, six million dollars in your in your bank, whatever it is. It's a lot of fucking money. You're getting spoiled. I expect you to work hard. And he will work hard for me. He's gonna work hard for me, help me out the script. He'll take his record notes every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the main things Peter Jackson will help me out with. He'll help me out with what? The um the luxury hotel party, obviously. The luxury hotel party and the red carpet event. Okay, Peter, I wanna rent this bird. Okay, I I wanna rent this luxury hotel. Okay, okay, I I'll help you. He helps me make those calls. We call the Birds and Dark Resort in Switzerland and we book that hotel. We fly in the organizers and the owners and managers and we they sign that big ten million dollar deal. I'm not going to hire that for them, that's good enough. I'm gonna tell the owners, look, man, I want you guys Hiring a good, hiring, hiring a good 10 photographers for, for a couple hours. For, 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 uh, photographers would gladly take pictures for 500 bucks for a couple hours. A good paycheck, obviously. Hire a good 10 photographers to take pictures with my three photographers for the red carpet event. That way you get a lot of pictures, obviously. And I want you renting like $2,000 cameras. Don't rent cheap cameras. Rent $2,000 cameras, obviously. Um, I'll have my photographers take pictures for the billboards. Obviously, the last one was Zane's billboard, the Amazon billboard too, obviously, as well as the Sky Source background, the Amazon background. You know how you have the background? You need to create all that, obviously. Okay, okay, I need you hiring security guards for the, for the luxury hotel party, as well as the red car, but yeah, yeah I even will hire them. I also want limo services. Well, we don't need limo services because we're, we're, we're going to be in what? We're going to be in the hotel. We won't need, we, the actors won't need limo services. We won't need limo services because the actors are going to be staying in a hotel. I mean, that's so unique. Yeah, I want all my luxury, my luxury hotel, my my, my red carpets to be in uh to to to, to be in the it, uh, take place at, at, the, at the at the at the hotel. That's what we talking about. You can even have it in. I might have my my red carpet indoor. 
You have like a line, fans outside, and the red carpet takes place indoor. You can do that. Or outdoor. We'll see what happens. Have it indoor or outdoor. Most likely it will be outdoor. Obviously. Okay, I have to help you out. Yes, I want you to help me, help me out with that, obviously. The, 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 um, the, the Amazon deal, um, I don't need Peter Jackson to help me out with that. Because Peter Jackson is not getting a piece of, a piece of the money. And it's, uh, VJ can make the call for that. She, okay, v, okay, VJ, call Amazon CEOs. Tell them we want to do business with them. We want to sell merch and our 4K Blu-ray movies on their website. It'll be sold on our website. It'll be linked to Amazon. You'll get this ad. Get the, 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 the box set now. You click the link and it links you to Amazon. Amazon Canada, Amazon America, Amazon Japan, Amazon Europe, all that stuff I'm saying. Yeah. Obviously. Peter Jackson will be help me with the IMAX cameras. I'm gonna tell Peter Jackson, okay, Peter, I want even though you, I'm giving you creative power, I don't I want my world, yeah, I, mean, I don't want my world to look like the Hobbit, like it like a different the Hobbit. Too much CGI. No, I want to build big big sets and I want my world to look natural. Okay, okay, I understand, Ivan. Okay, Ivan, so, so I'm going to tell you, okay, in Hollywood, they have film. Yeah, Ivan, they have film and digital cameras. Okay, I, okay, Peter, what is the best camera in Hollywood? Ask him. He knows, obviously. He, he's, he's working the industry. He's, he's been Yeah, you know, Ivan, the IMAX cameras is like pretty much the best camera in Hollywood. Okay, I want to rent 10 cameras for the movie. Okay, Peter, I don't want to rent 30 cameras. We're just wasting money. Let's rent a good 10 cameras for film. Yeah, Ivan, that's more than enough. Yeah, let's rent 10 cameras. 10 cameras. 10 film IMAX cameras. Let's update the cameras for, for the lens for the for the lenses and 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 and, and, and speakers. That way you get better quality from Okay, I won't do that, you know what I'm saying. Okay, let's get the best equipment for the cameras, the best drones. We don't okay, I, 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 yeah, I, we don't we won't we won't need an ele we won't we won't need a helicopter. We can what we can we can use drones to, to we can lease drones to film the movie. Rent the best drones. In the uh, in Hollywood for 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 rent a good I don't know, rent a good three drones for for high shot footage that's enough three drones for the high shot for the high shots for your movie that's good that's good and you can also rent the best equipment the best gliding equipment you know how you have the gliders for the cameras when when the the camera sounds that move you rent the best equipment for that best equipment the, the equipment won't cost so much it only costs like a couple hundred thousand dollars for the equipment whereas the cameras are going to be like five six seven million bucks. Easy affordable if you have a nine eighty minute budget going towards your movie, obviously. Okay, Peter, I want to, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show Peter, I'm gonna show Peter, and uh, and and my seventh, and, and my two doors that Annabelle picture. Okay, I want Air Attack and the Wolves to, to work. I want the actors to wear like a costume like this. And then you apply the CGI effects towards the Okay, I understand. I don't want them to. I don't want them wearing that CGI technology. No, otherwise the movie won't be as good. I want. I want them wearing 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 the mask and the costume. Okay, Ivan. Okay, Ivan. Okay, okay, Peter. What is the best company in Hollywood for creating the prosthetics and the mask and stuff and the costume? Yeah, you know, Ivan. This is the best company. We rent like we rent the best. Rent a good like two two two. I don't know two. You rent a good two machines for the mask. Obviously, two to three machines. That way, that way you, that way you can put, because they, because they also have the, because, because the, the, the people are also have to create masks for the extras too, for all the wolves, you're going you're gonna to have to rent a bunch of machines for that, yeah, rent a good like five machines, something like that, okay, if you, if, 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 if you want to pull off making thousands of masks, you're going to have to rent a bunch of machines, yeah, rent a bunch of machines, easy affordable, the best machines out there, top notch, I don't know, 50,000, 100,000 dollar machine for creating all the best masks. I'm gonna show Peter Jackson that animal picture. Okay, I want Ephesus. I want the actors to wear like this costume. They wear this prosthetic mask. Okay, I, I understand. I understand. That way, the wolves look more natural and look more scary. I know what I'm doing. You guys don't talk. Remember the animal picture? Well, think somebody like that for Aritan and and Ephesus. And all of them. They're gonna be wearing their, their costumes. Their, 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 their demonic mask and the costumes. This is gonna be crazy. The actors too. The actors are gonna to have to wear that stuff too. Obviously. Worst comes to worst, um, you, you can apply some CGI effects towards some of the actions for, for what they look like. But I want them creating thousands of, of costumes and, and, and for, for the actress too, obviously. For the mask and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Obviously. Okay, Peter, I want to get the... What's the best... What's the best... A corner for, what's the best corner for creating costumes? Custom making the costumes. Yeah, I mean, this is the best company. And we ran and taught the best machines... For for, 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 for for the costumes for all the actors. I want all the actors' costumes custom made. 
So the main actors and the minor ones, the wolves, the animal characters, I want their costumes all custom made. Because I want Aerotat and the wolves and bats to work to work to work clothing too. Create clothing for Aerotat and them too, yeah. I'm saying, or is the actors who just rant, call like a medieval company, you rant or buy the all all the clothing, all the clothing. So when they do, when, when, well, I'll have a thing where I'll have a thing, I'll have a thing, I'll have a machine, I'll have a machine. I'll have when they do the gatherings the second year with the extras, I'll have like a machine. All everyone, everyone, everyone who gather, all the extras who gather at the gathering, they walk to this machine. The machine counts how many people are 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 are, 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 are signed up. That way it's easier for that way your 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 forty team of of people overseeing the actors are not stressed out. See what I'm saying here? Yeah, you do something like that. That way that way the seven team knows they can make the calls to a medieval company and they rent the, they rent all the medieval clothing for Safians, Assyrians, the wolves, the Zanians, all that stuff. See what I'm saying here? Yeah. Oh my god, have you ever even planned out? Yes, I already planned out obviously. Hey Peter, what's the best stuff for creating weapons? The best tools for creating weapons, for creating the armor. Yeah, Ivan, this is the best machine. We best we, we, we rent the best machine for creating armor for what work for what workshop, what workshop, right? Creating the armor and the weapons. Yeah, obviously. What I'll do is I'll rent a lot of machines. That way, production sped up. Obviously, if I okay, I, yeah, Ivan, if you rent a bunch of machines. We 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 we, we, we can, they can easily handle making like thousands of armor and weapons. You see what I'm saying for the actors. Whereas in Hollywood they only have like one machine or something like that. Where me I'm gonna have I'm gonna put money into like I don't know four machines for the mass for for, for all the for all the animal characters and the extras. I'm gonna a good like four machines for for, for for creating the weapons and then the armor or tools for the armor. That way production sped up obviously. I might have Weta Workshop work on the armor like halfway through the second year. That way they have more time. Hey, look, man, worst comes to worst, I can, I, can, I, can, I can have you guys start working. I can fly in the Weta Workshop people early the second year, and I can have them start working in Swiss and right away, or New Zealand. I believe they're in New Zealand. They can work in New Zealand right away, and they can have all, make all the armor. That way they have more time. See what I'm saying? We do something like that. Let's see. I'm going to have a good like $30 million budget for the weapons, armor, and clothing. And the third million dollar budget for set building. That's where like something I heard of. Yeah, man. Which is crazy. As in Lord of the Rings, they probably only have like a, a million dollar budget for weapons and armor. A million five, maybe two million, three million, four million dollar budget for weapon armor. I'm putting thirty million dollars. Something unheard of. Yeah, Ivan, this is more than enough money, yeah. And that's why Peter Jackson was like, yeah, Ivan, your company blows Hollywood out of the water, yeah. Obviously, he helped me with all his calls, obviously. Obviously. Okay, Peter, we we need to feed our crewmen. You know what I'm saying, Peter, I don't want to serve the crewmen shitty food like they served them in Lord of the Rings. I want to serve them a nice, luxurious buffet. Uh, okay, Ivan, what kind of food do you want to serve them? Okay, I want to food. I want to serve them food from the farms. I want to serve them nice eggs, bacon, sausages, pancakes, donuts, strudels, Captain Crunch, oatmeal, and 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 and, 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 and Fruit Loops, and French vanilla, French vanilla coffee, tea, and like water, orange juice, and like fruit punch. For, for breakfast, Peter's eyes like, holy shit, Ivan, you're spoiling them, yeah. I want all everything made from the farms. Okay, 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 and we call the best, we call a farm company in Swiss. Call the, a farm company in Swiss, and that's where, that way it's easier to ship all the food, to ship all the food and all the stuff. Okay, let's call the best farms in Swiss, and we buy all the food. Okay, for the, for dinner, Peter, I want to serve the crewmen, not big hamburgers, hamburger sliders, like small hamburger sliders. I want to serve them hamburger sliders, meat made from the farms. You know what I'm saying? I want to serve them luxury thin crust pizza with garlic sauce. You guys don't talk about pizza is amazing with garlic sauce, right? Homemade garlic sauce. I want to serve them nice all you can eat wings, all you can eat ribs. A couple options of fried rice, like seven options of teriyaki meats, and a, and like chicken balls and a huge salad bar with potato salad, macaroni salad, coleslaw, peas, corn, Caesar salad, vegetarian salad, cucumbers, carrots. All that nice stuff from said carrots, chickpeas, huge salad bar. I'm gonna have a salad because there's some people in the crewmen who are vegetarian, who might be vegetarian, and you need to have you need to mix your 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 fatty foods with your with your salad. Obviously, there's a good chance the nutritionist will tell the actors, "Look, man, I recommend you eat one full plate of veggies and salad, obviously, and then and, and then the next plate you can eat your junk food." Most people will eat the junk food, obviously, but it's good to balance it with some salad. You need salad. Uh, have a huge salad bar of veggies and salad. 
a huge veg, veg vegetable and salad bar. That way, those who are vegetarian can eat the healthy food, obviously. And you know, what I'm saying okay for dessert, I want I want chocolate cake, white cake, cheesecake. Obviously, you can have two options of cheesecake. What I'll do is I'll have like three options of cheesecake if you want. You can have strawberry cheesecake, caramel cheesecake, and New York cheesecake. You know what I'm saying? Then you have your apple crisp. Because most people are, are love. Most people are going to demolish the cheesecake. Because cheesecake is very, very popular. Cheesecake is like the best dessert, pretty much. I have chocolate cake, white cake, three options of cheesecake, strawberry, caramel, and New York. Obviously, and then you have your your, your 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 apple crisp, your apple pie, your blue your strawberry pie and blueberry pie, and you have like three, four options of ice cream. Pretty Jackson's like, holy shit, Ivan, this is a luxury this is a luxury menu, yeah. And we call the farms and he helps me and we make all we buy all the food, obviously. What I'll do is I'll have the chefs give me all the ingredients and then we call the farms. Okay, we call the best farm in Swiss and we order all the eggs, we order all the sausage. The meat for they're gonna have to custom make the sausage too. This, this is all from the farms. Order all the eggs, you know what I'm saying? The pork for the sausage, obviously. Obviously, the uh, what? The dough for the uh, the dough for the for the pies and 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 and, and, and the pancakes, the, the 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 for the strudels. I'm also gonna have strudels too. Donuts, yeah, man. What I'm gonna do for uh, what for, for the donuts? I only have them serve like one donut, like toffee donuts or something like that. That way you don't don't serve us so much food. That way you don't waste money. Ha keep the menu pretty big, but don't have it huge. Like you know how you have these restaurants, they have so much food. Don't do that. Otherwise, you're gonna waste a lot. You're gonna end up wasting a lot of a lot of food. Keep the menu. Yeah, let's keep the menu small, but keep have a ha serve them like luxury food. That way everyone's fed well and they and they work hard. Okay, Peter, I want to get the best vending machines. For, 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 for the Coke, for the Mountain Dew, you know what I'm saying? For the Sprite, you know what I'm saying? For the Orange Crush, for the water. We tell him and he, we, we call the Top Much, we, we call the Top Much companies and we lease like those, you know those Top Much vending machines at Subway? You guys know what I'm talking about. You're looking at like machines like that for, for, for my company, man. Okay, Peter, I want to have all you can drink milkshake. You know what I'm saying? Strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. You know what I'm saying? I also, the chefs also are going to have to what? They're also going to have to custom make the milkshake too. Yeah, man. I don't pay. I'm going to find a way to put these. I'm not going to buy cheap stuff from the store and have you slack off. No, man. I'm buying everything from the farms. You're going to have to prep everything and cook everything. Everything is custom made, man. The breakfast is all custom made. You know what I'm saying? The, you know what I'm saying? Everything is custom made. Yeah. See what I'm saying? You have to make the dough. Prep the dough for, for the strudels, for the donuts. The apple pie, the cheesecake for the cheesecake. You have to custom make all that. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm gonna buy an ice cream maker. That way they can. They're gonna have to what? A custom make the ice cream too. Yeah, it's a lot of work, man. Okay, Peter. You know what I'm saying? I want. I want. I want. I want the least luxury equipment. Peter's like, holy shit, Ivan. Your company's better, you're better than Hollywood. And I, when I filmed one of the rings, like Peter, we, we had this shitty trailer for cooking food, and your company, you're releasing like top nine end Christian equipment. Yeah. You know, Master Chef, you guys see what I'm saying? I'm gonna lease top notch kitchen equipment like that for the chefs to cook the food. Top notch, top notch cutlery. I'm also gonna have nice luxury plates for the crewmen. So the crewmen have their breakfast, you have these nice plates, and they serve their food. Yeah, nice forks, nice top on end forks. Scars is a top notch company, yeah. I'm also gonna lease nice tables. Nice okay, Peter, let's let's lease nice tool stool tables for, for the crewmen to sit down. Nice stool chair, nice chairs and nice don't have them have shitty, sh shitty chairs. No, have them have at least rent like hundreds of nice, like rent hundreds of like nice tables for the crewmen to, to, to sit down. So what I'll do when the chefs, what I'll do is I'm going to build a portable building for the chefs to cook the food and, and a portable building for everyone, every, everyone to eat, obviously. Just in case it rains, you need to build a portable building for, for, for that, for, for, for all the crewmen to eat. I'll, I'll, I'll have tables outside. Okay, okay. There's, there's going to be tables outside and tables inside, obviously. You can, you can build like a pavilion. To save money, you can have the chefs cook in um in like a tent, a pavilion tent, in, 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 a, in a pavilion tent. You'll have them cook in a portable building, obviously, but you can, you can build a pavilion tent, and that's where everyone eats. And you have nice tables in the pavilion tent, just in case it rains, obviously. Show my account here.